Today, I'm going to be going over Google Ads Quality Score, basically what it is, why it matters, how to find it, and then basically how to optimize for it. So very quick overview of Quality Score. It's used in the auction every time that somebody makes a search and ads have the potential to be triggered. So for example, when I do a search for plumbers near me, what Google's doing with every single auction is they're looking at who is actually bidding on these keywords or keywords that will match this search term, how much are they bidding, and then looking at their quality score to determine an ad rank. So there's been previous things where it's, you know, it, ad rank is basically quality score times your bid. I don't know what the exact formula is, but having a higher quality score will actually allow you to spend less than other advertisers on a per click basis. So if you have a 10 out of 10 quality score for the keyword plumbers near me, and you're targeting this keyword, and let's just say, you know, Roto Rooter might have a 10 out of 10 quality score for this keyword, but let's just say this company right here has a, you know, five out of 10 quality score. If you have a 10 out of 10, you're paying a lot less for this exact click. So basically quality score is the way to optimize your Google ads account and your Google ads campaign, because if you can get really high quality scores for the keywords that you're targeting, then ultimately you're paying less than your competitors. And the next step would just be making sure your conversion rate is as high as possible. And then theoretically you're driving leads for a lot less than your competitors are. This video is brought to you by surfsideppc.com. Go here, you can find my Google ads course. You can request Google ads management. You can request Google Ads Consulting. You can join my community, so the Surfside PPC community, and you can also join my premium video section here. So if you're interested in any of this, surfsidepc.com, everything in the top menu. Let's get back to the video. So in terms of longevity of a business, always a great thing to do, and a lot of that just starts with quality score. So if we scroll over this, we'll see what Google's definition is. An estimate of how relevant your ads, keywords, and landing pages are to a person who sees your ad. Higher quality scores typically lead to lower costs and better ad positions. So quick and easy way to go over quality score. Now, if we come over here, I'm just going to go over how do we actually improve our Google ads quality score? So there's three main factors, ad relevance, landing page experience, and expected click through rate. So the three things you need to do is always improve ad relevance. That means tight keyword groups. So when you're creating your ad groups, make sure that they are very relevant. If for example, we're targeting plumbing keywords, if we're targeting other keywords in terms terms of drain, in terms of leaks, in terms of maybe water damage, any additional keywords are going to be things that you want to put into their own ad groups. So you don't want to kind of put everything into one ad group with one ad with one landing page. It's going to make you have very low quality scores and you might have trouble even serving ads on Google. You want to make sure you're matching your ad copy with the keywords that you're targeting. So the main thing is the search terms that are coming in for your ad group. You want to make sure your ad copy will actually solve for the search terms that are coming in. Plumbers near me, your ad copy should be plumbers with a location that you're targeting or number one plumbing company, you know, those types of ad copy and then the locations that you're targeting and then kind of a quick Here's why you should hire our plumbing company. So using high intent language and benefits, all of those things will give you increased ad relevance, which generally a better ad relevance and a better written ad is going to also boost your expected click through rate. So testing multiple headlines and descriptions with responsive search ads, you get 15 headlines and four description lines. So there's plenty of testing with all of those different headlines and descriptions, numbers, symbols, urgency. So, you know, about 24 hours, number one, different ways you can use numbers and symbols can actually help increase your click through rate and then creating urgency. So maybe you have something like a free inspection or some type of way to bring people in much quicker and make people incentivized to actually click on your advertisement. So let's look at these examples here really quickly. So no trip charge, same day expert service. So pretty good overall ad, but there's nothing about plumbing in here at all. So America's number one plumbing company right here. So not a terrible advertisement, kind of unique, no trip charge, probably something people are looking for. $75 off today, call now for a free estimate. 24 seven plumbing by Roto Rooter deal up to $75 off plumbing and drain probably goes to an actual promotion. So overall good advertisement, even though the headline says nothing about plumbing. This one, local NJ plumbing service. So mine is geared towards Hudson County, New Jersey right now. Local NJ plumbing service, fast, reliable, very affordable. So good overall advertisement there. Expert drain cleaning service at affordable rates. Call now for guaranteed satisfaction, free estimates, fast service, 
emergency services, plumbing, drain cleaning, sewer cleaning. We have our, our call us here. So if we click on this and we end up calling this number, we can actually track this as well. So two good advertisements overall. As we scroll down the page, you're going to see there's even more ads at the bottom. So Arctic Air Plumbing, Plumbers Ready and Nearby Arctic Air, 4.9 out of 5 star rating from 7,900 happy customers. We have a deal. We have a call asset. Compare local plumbers on Thumbtack, AJ Perry Plumbing, Same Day Drain Services. So overall, these are good advertisements. They look like they have a lot of their assets that's built out. I did notice that this one at the top must not have their verification completed or something because they don't have logos here and they don't have their business name at the top. So definitely something to improve would be the assets in terms of business logo, business name. But basically when you're looking at quality score, it is all of these three factors. So improve ad relevance, boost expected click-through rates, last but not least, optimize your landing page. So you want landing pages that are fast loading, good mobile experience. You wanna make sure that your, your landing pages are converting well, because if they're not converting well, then conversion-based bidding might not work as well. Clear call to actions, minimize distractions. And you know, if it's plumber near me, you want an ad that's relevant towards plumbing, you want a landing page that's relevant towards plumbing. As you start getting into more things that might be niche or different types of services that might be a little bit different than something that, you know, something as, as standard as kind of plumbers near me, if we did something like water damage restoration, and let's just pick, we'll say Newark, New Jersey. So if you're targeting this, then you want to make sure like Serve Pro right here has water damage East Rutherford, choose Serve Pro. A water damage emergency can happen at any time. You know, maybe they want to have Newark here, not the end of the world that it says East Rutherford. And if I look at the bottom, it looks like their landing page down here is a water damage landing page. See if we have any other ads at the bottom. Again, we have Serve Pro. NJ PuroClean, contact PuroClean of Nork Restoration. We got cut off here. Open 24 hours. We have our location, our team of water damage restoration, water damage restoration pros, Newark water damage at your house in 30 minutes. And, you know, we have a good overall advertisement here. So basically, when you are targeting these keywords, the, the main thing you want is you want to make sure that your landing page is going to be relevant for what people are searching. You want to make sure your ads are going to be relevant for what people are searching. And you want to make sure your click through rates are high for the keywords that you're targeting. Those three things will give you higher quality scores. These were some examples that I pulled from accounts that I manage. So the first one right here, I did cover the cost for the month, but basically these are our top keywords over a 30 day period in terms of spend. So our number one keyword, we spent almost $2,500 on nine out of 10 quality score. If you're seeing no quality score here, it's something where I generally say, don't panic about it. It's not something where you need to pause the keyword. It's not something where you need to get rid of it. Just basically Google may not have a set quality score for this keyword to report in your account. They are using a quality score. It might just be they're using five out of 10. Maybe they're using quality scores for other keywords that are similar to this, but ultimately it should be a pretty high quality score based on the keyword, based on everything in this account. But you can see here for all of these pretty high quality scores overall, above average, above average, average here. So you wanna make sure you're above average or average with everything. If you're seeing average ad relevance scores, create another advertisement. Maybe adjust some of your low performing headlines and description lines. If you're seeing an average landing page experience, experience your landing page for yourself. Go to it on mobile, go to it on, de on desktop. If you're seeing major issues, make sure you update them. If you're not, maybe launch a landing page variation. Expected click-through rate, look at your click-through rate for each of these individual keywords. Look at your click-through rates at the campaign level, at the ad group level. Look for anything as far as search terms or keywords that are dragging down your click-through rate. So sometimes within a keyword, you might find, okay, this keyword is having a lower click-through rate than usual. Click on that keyword, go Go into the search terms and see if you can identify any of the issues. Now, some of these here where you'll see like one out of 10 below average, seven out of 10, we have one thing below average, the other two above average. Generally, what I try to do is when I am, you know, six out of 10, really five out of 10 or below, six out of 10, sometimes I'll, I'll deal with, and it is still something you want to optimize. But when I see five out of 10 or below, especially when you're seeing ones that look more like this, the whole point of these pictures is good, you know, really good. These are great. These are good overall quality scores and these are bad quality scores. So five, three, one, these are things that you always want to improve. And you just want to look at these different factors here. Now, if you have just created a campaign, maybe you've spent, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand dollars on the campaign, for example, and you are targeting keywords in it and your quality scores are five out of 10 and you have a expected click through rate of below average. Maybe it just looks exactly like this. You might say, okay, I probably don't need to do too much in terms of my ads. My ads seem to be relevant. So that doesn't seem to be an issue with me. Landing page experience. I would look, if you have above average for most of 
the other keywords, but maybe one is showing below or just standard average, then maybe your landing page experience doesn't need to be completely changed. If you're seeing average and below average, you know, like you're seeing a lot of below average for the landing. Oh, these are kind of, yeah. So if you're seeing a lot of average and below average for landing page experience like this, then generally what I recommend is let's launch a new landing page. Maybe we get a professionally designed landing page. You know, maybe we look at the site speed. How does the landing pages look on mobile? Is there something we can do with these landing pages to improve it? Expected click through rate below average. If you're seeing a lot of these average to below average, sometimes that happens for newer campaigns. And then sometimes if you're just seeing like below average across the board, your campaign itself might just need to get more data. Google does report that the quality score number that you're seeing right here isn't necessarily the number that they're going to every single auction with. This is kind of like an estimation of your quality score for the keyword you're targeting. But when you think about it, a single keyword, like a really quickly, if you want to join a community of other people that talk about ads and join the Surfside PPC ads community, go to surfsidepppc.com slash community or school.com slash Surfside PPC, and you'll be able to join my community there. If you are interested in my Google ads course, you can go to surfsidepppc.com slash course. It's $34.99. You will learn everything you need to know about managing Google ads and making it successful for you. Last but not least, go to surfsidepppc.com slash consulting. I do consulting and audits in case you need help with an existing account. Let's get back to the video. One broad match keyword can match hundreds, if not thousands of different search terms. So quality score is always going to be an estimation based on the keyword you're targeting. Now let's get into my account because Sometimes you'll see quality score things that don't really make a lot of sense. So this is just last 30 days of data. This keyword here, how does Google advertising work? My quality score is one out of 10, but it's actually my best converting keyword. How to run Google ads, six out of 10, four conversions. So it's it's been converting pretty well too. So don't use quality score as like the main thing as far as, okay, this is why I should or shouldn't target this keyword. I do use quality score at times though. Within an account, if I see quality scores that are one out of 10, two out of 10 for keywords that I think are good keywords to target. Sometimes I use that as my guide to say, maybe this is Google's way of telling me this is not the right keyword to target. That's the search intent behind this keyword has nothing to do with your ads or your landing page. So sometimes I will use quality scores. Okay. This is something where maybe my search intent is off where I'm targeting something that doesn't necessarily line up with what my overall funnel is leading people to. So don't use quality score as something where it's like, okay, well, this is one out of 10, let's get rid of it. It's more, okay, this is one out of 10, but it's performing well. So let's find ways to increase our expected click-through rate. Maybe we test a new landing page. Maybe we create another advertisement and see if we can improve our ad relevance. But basically with quality score, you are looking to improve these three factors. And I would honestly say the best thing to do is create really tightly themed ad groups within your campaigns. This campaign might not be the best example of it, but if we open up my pool care campaign, separating things out like pool repair, pool cleaning, pool liner replacement, pool maintenance and care into their own ad groups or even into their own campaigns, depending on the budget you're using, will help your quality scores. Making things more location focused will help your quality scores. So if I'm doing pool cleaning Myrtle Beach in Charleston, well, my ads for the Charleston should be geared towards Charleston. My landing page should be geared towards Charleston. Everything should be geared towards Charleston. And likewise with the Myrtle Beach ad group. It also might be something where I say, you know what, let me target Myrtle Beach with one campaign, Charleston with another, because they're not necessarily a drive market. It's like a two, two and a half hour drive. So not something where it's like these people are gonna be looking for companies in these local areas. So separating things out and organizing your actual Google ads campaigns and ad groups is one of the best ways to optimize for a quality score. From there, it becomes, let's make sure we're targeting the right keywords. If we're seeing low keyword quality scores, we have to look at why. So why are we seeing some low quality scores? There's just not enough data in this campaign, but why are we seeing low quality scores? Is it the potential that maybe the keyword that we're targeting isn't relevant enough for you know what the actual ad and landing page look like? So. Kind of if you are if you are trying to improve quality score, look for things where you have five out of 10 or below, maybe six out of 10 or below, seven out of 10 and up, I'm usually pretty happy with, but these are really the main three factors to focus on. Ad relevance, landing page experience, expected click-through rate, improve quality scores, improve your ad rank. And if, even if you're using like maximize conversions as your bidding strategy, you can ensure that you're not overspending on some of these clicks. You might still have some expensive clicks, but you can ensure you're not overspending on some of them because you do have a good quality score. And it's basically Google's way of giving you 
when you do run ads for a while and you run them consistently to give you a little bit of a, a bump over brand new advertisers who haven't ran ads at all and have no historic data in their account. So if you have any questions about quality score, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.